they do. And the, the reason is that it can be a challenge for youth organizations to fulfill the needs of kids who want to play these sports. Yeah, they're expensive. Yep. So WMR2 News' Mark Roper is live outside of a boys and girls club in uh, northwest Baltimore. So, Mark, this club is one of many nonprofits that uh, leveling the playing field really helps out. Yes, uh, Megan and Christian, and they are very grateful for that, too, because the Boys and Girls Club is really more than just a place for kids to play and have fun, because your donations to leveling the playing field can make a difference in the lives of those kids in the community. Whether it's working on their best jump shot, practicing their forehand, or giving it their all, these kids have a lot more to say about what they can do at the Boys and Girls Clubs of Metropolitan Baltimore. Fun. Fun. Play football and basketball. Talk. We can go outside. Uh, dancing and we can go in the gym. Learn new things. Donations from the nonprofit organization Leveling the Playing Field help make all of those activities possible. Donations keep this equipment closet well stocked with bats, balls, nets, and just about anything else you can use to hit, kick, or throw. A lot of our young people here in the inner city haven't had the opportunity to play lacrosse or tennis or even soccer. So um, by them having this type of equipment, um, not only does it save us money, it also gives them an opportunity to really, again, just have access. Boys and Girls Club's Webster Kendrick Club Manager, M. Sapphire Winley, explains just how much of a difference each donation makes to the bottom line. If leveling the playing field was not in existence, the Boys and Girls Club would have an expense line that would be out of this world because we do service right now um, more than six clubs um, in the metropolitan Baltimore area. So to try to uh, make sure that every club has a sufficient amount of equipment, I mean, it would really be costly. While the amount of savings those donations provide to the club can be measured in the numerous smiles, laughter, and cheers. I know that these kids, they really do appreciate the partnership that's in place. And I will say, I've spoken more to them about how we had access or gained access to the sporting equipment so that they can also have ownership and take care of what we do have that's been donated. And as a club manager, Winley also is very grateful for the efforts of leveling the playing field. They make it incredibly easy to make the appointment so that you can go and um, visit the their warehouse and go ahead and shop. A warehouse which shows what might be one person's trash truly can be another person's treasure. That basketball that's sitting in the garage, if it's that lacrosse stick, if it is that tennis net, which I'm looking for right now so that I can just kind of put it up here. Even ping pong tables, um, pool tables, uh, air hockey tables. I wouldn't count anything out if you just go and take a look at their website. I'm pretty sure that item that you're considering tossing would actually be of great use. As each donation is not only an investment in a child's happiness for today, but their future. At the end of the day, our kids, our members do not even want to go home. Um, so to me, that's a level of, of success that we are really not just reaching them, but that we are um, taking full advantage of the opportunity um, to, to develop young, responsible, caring citizens. Now, the Boys and Girls Club recently just started putting together some basketball teams representing each of the Boys and Girls Clubs in Baltimore so they can play against each other. So the one thing they're actually hoping that people will donate are basketball jerseys for the kids to wear. Reporting live in Northwest Baltimore, Mark Roper, WMAR2 News.